Hey, it's Cliff and the Federal Student Loan Relief application just was launched. So if you're looking to get 20K off your student loans, I'm gonna show you the application right now. It's the first thing I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna do it really quickly because that's probably what most people are looking for. And then after that, I'll show you the epic Q, you know, all the questions about what it is you need to do to qualify, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and pull it up really quick. Now, I will paste a quick link to this in the description. You just need to go here, and as you scroll down, you can see here's the borrower information. You're gonna fill out your name, you're gonna go through here, uh, your social security number, your birth date, your phone number, your email, and then you just go down here. You're gonna read this agreement, and then you are gonna fill out your name again, hit I certify and submit that bad boy. And that is literally all you have to do to apply for this. This is probably the easiest government form that I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, once you submit the form, you should get an email. It looks something like this, where it talks about the next steps that are in the process. Basically, it just says they're going to review your application. They're going to determine if you are eligible and then you know, hopefully you can get some money out of there. Now, it's important to keep tabs on your email when it comes to this, because it does say if they need additional information. That's how they're probably going to contact you is through email. So be on the lookout for emails like this and also make sure that you get this email so you know that it's not going to your spam folder or something. So you're going to miss a email where they follow up and they need more information. Now, flipping back to the federal student aid website where it talks about the FAQs on how to apply. And I'll paste this link below in the description as well, just so you can go through it if you need to. Now, one important thing I want to say is this is only a beta launch. So I know when I first saw that it came out, I checked my phone, I was able to log in. And then maybe like an hour later, I was trying to log in on the computer because I wanted to do a video and I needed the application to actually load to show you guys what you needed to fill it out. And I couldn't get in. So it is beta launch. It does say that more, um, Applications will be coming out later October, but from what I've found, as long as you just keep refreshing the page every once in a while, you know, try to come back to it maybe a day or two, it'll probably load on you. Now, the deadline to fill this out is December 31st, 2023. But with that said, you want to fill this out as soon as possible because it's going to get you to the head of the line and hopefully get you your debt relief faster. So just scrolling down, how much debt relief can you get? It says you can get up to 20K in debt relief as long as you received a federal Pell Grant in college. If you did not receive a Pell Grant in college, you can get up to 10K in debt relief. So they're still offering uh, a little bit of money for people that didn't quite qualify for the federal assistance. So that's great. It looks like everybody who has a student loan should be getting some kind of free money. With that said, your student loan balance had to occur before June 30th, 2022. So I guess technically it's not applying to everybody if you just got your loan June 30th of 2022, but chances are if you just got your loan at that point, you're probably still in college. You're not even worrying about this right now. So we can move on. Important information here. Will my debt relief be taxed? And it says one time student loan debt relief won't be taxed at the federal level. Some states may be taxing this debt relief. So check with your state to see who is actually going to be taxing these debt relief. And there is a tab down here that says, what if I don't want to receive debt relief? Well, it says uh, for most borrowers, you will receive debt relief only if you submit an application. And then as we scroll down here, if you'd like to opt out the debt relief for any reason, including because you're concerned about a potential tax liability from your state, you can contact your loan servicer by phone or email and tell them that you do not want to receive this one time payment. Now I have no idea why would you why you would do that, but you know, some people are either, like it says, trying to avoid taxes, which those taxes should be minimal, I would think, or they're probably standing on a moral high ground that they don't want to uh, participate in this, which is, you know, if that's you, that is perfectly okay with me as well. Just call your loan provider and opt out for this. So moving on from there, income qualification. So if you're single, you need to have made under 125 thousand dollars for your 2020 or 2021 agi on your tax return if you are married and you're filing jointly you have to make under 250,000. scrolling down some more there are some questions about pell grants it says if i received a pell grant do i need to do anything to get the full 20k in debt relief and it says no you don't you don't they have that all on records and there's nothing you need to do 
moving down some more. How do I know if I received a Pell Grant? Well, obviously, if you got some money, you should know this. But if you don't, you can probably go to the FAFSA website and they'll let you know. Also, typically, if you look at your, your school, that should tell you in the financial aid section of whatever web portal they're using. It should tell you there. Now, if you've been out of school for a while now, you can actually go to studentaid.gov. And then if you select My Aid, it'll also tell you there if you received a Pell Grant. Now, this one's pretty important, actually. If you scroll down to this one, it says, if I have a Parent PLUS loan and my child received a Pell Grant, can the full 20K in debt relief be applied to the Parent PLUS loan? And under their answer, it does say no. If a student received a Pell Grant, up to 20K in debt relief will be applied to the student's loan not to any loans their parents may have taken out. So that is important to consider when you are applying to this. It's not for Parent PLUS loans, this is only for the actual debt of the student. And as I scroll down, there's a section that says which loans are eligible, and they go through all the different types of federal loans. Just know that you obviously need a federal loan to apply for federal debt relief. Obviously, they're not gonna pay for your privatized loan or whatever else. Just make sure that the loan that you're applying for is a federal loan. And again, if you do not know who your federal loan or your loan in general is through, just go to studentaid.gov, click my aid, and they should be able to tell you right there. And then just to run through the qualifying loans FAQ real quick. Are defaulted loans eligible for debt relief? Yes. Are private loans eligible for debt relief? Again, no. Are parent plus loans and graduate plus loans eligible for debt relief? Yes, but to receive the full amount, you have to have the Pell Grant under your name. Are federal family education loan program loans or Perkins loans eligible for debt relief? Yes. Just to summarize everything that I said here and what you need to do to actually get this 20K or 10K if you didn't have the Pell Grants and money, all you need to do, fill out that really simple application that I showed you. Again, link in the description. You'll receive an email confirmation, the picture that I just showed you, just confirming that yes, they got your application. At that point, they will review your application, then they will contact you if they need inform more information. That will most likely be done through email. Um, then you can you know, provide that information to them. If they do not need information, they will notify you once your application is approved. From there, your loan service will apply your debt relief and notify you of the total that you are actually receiving a debt relief. Boom, it's that easy. If you got any questions, leave me a comment down in the description and thank you for watching. One last thing here that I bet some people were probably wondering and is what if my loan balance is less than the maximum amount of debt relief? So in this example, let's say you have 7K of student loan debt and you're eligible to receive 10K debt relief. They will not be coming back and giving you the extra three grand. You are only eligible for the amount of relief that is on your student loan up to 10K without the Pell Grant and 20K with the Pell Grant. Hopefully that clarifies some things here. Hey, thank you for watching.